In this video, we're gonna go through the fastest way to unlock all 11 achievements, which unlock the achievement Flight Club and allow you to obtain the bestowed Otic Vanguard mount. This is also one of the achievements needed for the overall Dragonflight meta achievement. The way that we're gonna go through this video, I'm gonna break these 11 achievements into four different sections and the achievement should be on screen at all times. So if you have some of these already, feel free to skip through on the timestamps as well to the achievements that you are looking to do. Okay, let's get into it. We are gonna start with the treasures and adventure of Eldrassus. First of all, the treasures. For the treasures, we need to find these six treasures on the screen now. Four out of these six don't really require any prerequisites and you can just go and pick them up and I'll show those at the end of this section. But there's a few prerequisites for uh, two of the six, and uh, I'm gonna go over that first, and then we can do all six of the treasures at the end. And this is assuming that you have not collected any of these maps already, or any of the treasures really in the Dragon Isles. But starting from the very beginning, over here, we have the Primal Proto Drakes, and these are gonna drop this Dragon Isles Supply Bag, which is gonna start a quest funding a treasure hunt and is gonna allow you to go into getting the maps for these different treasures. The second one for the later map is uh, the Rumors of the Jeweled Whelpling, another quest to complete and get another treasure, which is gonna allow you to find the maps for another section of treasures. Basically, do both of these quests, and then what you need to do is fly around looting all of the Disturbed Dirt Expedition Scout packs and the Magic Bound chests to find these different maps inside of them. You're then going to use these maps and it's going to come up on your map and you're going to be able to access that treasure. So basically from here what you need to do is just fly around. Um, I personally prefer the Onaran Plains or the Waking Shores to fly around and just find as much disturbed dirt to dig as you can. It took me around three to 15 minutes per map. So actually, if you wanna get all the different treasures, achievements for the different zones, you can just spend a couple hours doing this to just pick up all nine of them, I believe, and that will cover all the maps for all the different zones treasures. There is two that we're looking for specifically for the treasures of Thaldrassus. They are the Time Lost Memo and the bear termination orders. So once you've completed all that and you've got those two extra maps that we talked about, let's talk about the locations of the treasures. Here they are on the map and then I'm gonna go over them one by one. So first of all, we can use our time lost memo map and then we will be able to go and find the cracked hourglass Uh, and then if you use your bear termination orders, that is gonna give you that amber gem cluster. For the sandy wooden duck, you're gonna talk to Yenu here, and then there's gonna be a little thing that's gonna become clickable beside him after you've talked to him. You need to grab that and then go to the other location to access the wooden duck. And then for the acorn harvester as well, you want to pick that up and then you loot the little squirrel that's beside it as well. Cool. And the elegant canvas brush as well. And then we also have the surveyor's magnifying glass. That's the final one there. Okay, and now for the adventurer of Thaldrassus. So as you can see here, you just need to kill 10 of the rares within Thaldrassus, and I'm gonna show you the easiest way to do this. Basically, there is, I'm gonna split them into two groups. There is nine that are in a group of these 14 hour rotation rares, which spawn every 30 minutes, um, one rare around the Dragon Isles, and they're all throughout all the zones. In the description, I've got a weak aura that someone has created, as well as a spreadsheet for NA and EU, which will tell you the exact time for any rare that you are looking for that is in Thaldrassus, like the ones on the screen here. They are ones that you want to keep an eye on and you can check the time and log in and kill them on the exact uh, minute that it says on the spreadsheet. But if these ones aren't up for a while and you wanna get the achievement quickly, 
there are some other rares as well. These 13 rares, I believe, which I'm gonna go over as well. So the other 13 rares in the zone and all have different varying ways to spawn them or they're just bog standard rare where they're just gonna be there when you come and find them and you can kill them. I'm gonna briefly go over each of the rares and how to find them. So Rask Vex, the untamed, basically spawns and runs along a path over here, you'll see it on the map. You can mount him and then use the number three ability, which is gonna stun him. You can then jump off and just DPS him down, okay? The second one, I can't even remember the name. I don't have it in front of me now. Goromol spawns here, nothing special. Should be an easy pickup. The Weeping Veloma is in a cave and you need to speak to an NPC called Boom Hooch the Lost to spawn the rare. For the Great Shelkin, this is a bit more effort, you need to obtain a case of fresh gleam fish from the Azure Span. A tip for this one is to use the bronze dragonflight ability you get with your Drake beside the NPC, and then don't dismount. You can fly over to the Azure Span here, and then you can click the case whilst still mounted, and then use your dr bronze dragonflight ability to head back to the NPC and then hand it in and kill the great shelkin lord epoch burgle is spawned in this building if there's an unstable time rift to click so you can just have a look for that time rift if it's not there you cannot spawn him the innumerable ruination patrols just outside of where you'll find lord epoch burgle pleasant alpha is found here it seems to be just a basic spawn as well around this area fenran is found down here a few levels down and then Wolfgang, you need to pet one of the lambs and the rare will spawn. This bot, you need to mine it or, or destroy it with the dynamite or something and you will spawn the Cragravated Elemental. Uh, here you will find an egg to click and that's gonna spawn a Corrupted Proto Drake. The only rare that I'm not gonna go over is the, an well, okay, the second only rare I'm not gonna go over is the Ancient Protector. The instructions are on the screen here, but you can just pause and have a look through it. it. Just involves a lot more work, so it's not one that I would recommend. The Too Long Didn't Watch is basically do laps in war mode and out of war mode and uh, look for any of these rares or these things to interact with to spawn the rares. And whilst you're doing that, just keep an eye on this 14 hour rotation of rares and any that are coming up uh, soon within Thaldrassus, just go and kill those ones and it's gonna get you one step closer to completing that achievement. Nice, that is two achievements down. And next we are going to move on to the Little Scales Daycare. Okay guys, for the Little Scales Daycare, again, we have three achievements here. The first one is going to be to complete all of the quests for this um, area. The second one is going to be to complete all of the different races for the five different whelps. And then the final one is going to be just unlocking all five of the whelps. So to put it simply, you basically just need to complete all of the quests for that first achievement and you're gonna get the other two as well. This is going to take a maximum of 19 days and a minimum of 15 days, or at least that's what the Wowhead comments are telling me. Basically travel over here to the Little Scales Daycare in Veldraken, and you basically just need to complete the quest here every day. And that is gonna take you between 15 and 19 days of doing that to unlock all three of these achievements. There's nothing special here really. Uh, the only thing is Make sure you do the race every day, especially after you unlock more whelps, because if you miss one of those days, uh, it might be another five days until you can do the, the whelp that you need to finish the achievement. You only need bronze in these dragon riding races to complete the achievement as well. So after 15 to 19 days, you should have all three of these ones done. Okay, so next is on to the Obsidian Citadel. So for the Obsidian Citadel guys, again, we got three achievements. The first one being to restore and use 30 keys. The second one being to hand in one key to each of the NPCs that you can hand them into, which is only four of them. So technically you can use four keys to complete that achievement. And then the final achievement is to be involved with each one of the events. Three of those events is just to kill the rare that spawns from them. 
and one of those events is just to use the weapons uh, from the Forge Master when you complete that event, but we'll go over those in a bit. So, first thing you need to do is talk to either Rathian or Sibelian to give your loyalty. It doesn't matter which one you give it to, it just then unlocks the ability to hand in keys to the other NPCs. For those 30 keys that we need, 30 key fragments and three key framings make one key. So we need a total of 900 fragments and 90 framings to make those 30 keys that you need to use um, for the achievement. Now, the fastest way to do this is definitely just to search for a group during a busy time of the day, uh, key farming or something like that, or just create your own and uh, basically just fly around in a loop, just killing all of the mobs around the area and they're all gonna drop those fragments and framings and in a group it's gonna be a lot faster. Now, whilst you're doing this, you can have a, keep an eye for the other two achievements. Um, for, the, for the one I'm playing all sides, basically you can just hand in four keys when you get them, um, one to each of the uh, NPCs. I'll show them on the screen here. We have, of course, Rathion. We have the Forge Master guy, I can't remember his name right now. <laughs> He's on the screen there. And then we have Sibelian, and we also have the other guy um, who is also on the screen now, Igis or something. I also don't remember his name, but you can see it in front of you. So after you hand in those four, you'll get that achievement, and you'll notice that when you're handing these in, there is a progress bar at each of them. These progress bars, when they reach the full amount, and they go up based on a key being handed to them by you or by other players. When that gets to the full amount, the event will start. For three of those, it is going to spawn a rare, and I will put on the screen here which ones spawn which rare and which event. And for one of them, it spawns weapons in which you can use, and it seems like if you use the weapons, you are you get that achievement as well. So basically keep an eye on this progress bar or if someone is has activated the event, you don't need to even give a key to get the progress towards the achievement as long as you're involved in killing the rare that spawns. These will come up on the map as well and uh, you will get alerts to that. Cool, so that should be all three of those achievements talked about. In that time that you're farming the 30 keys, you really should be able to do the other events as well if you're if you're paying attention. Nice Obsidian Citadel done. Okay guys, and finally on to the last three achievements which are all gonna take place at, at the Siege on Dragonbane Keep. The first one being just to complete the event. So if you have been playing Dragonflight up until this point, you have probably already completed this already. Um, the second one being to feed the big frog at the beginning of the event, uh, 20 of the slugs that are, are um, located around about. Now this is one where if there's less people there, it's actually gonna be easier to complete this. So doing it at a random hour of the day and um, when there's less people on could be faster. You need to feed him, I believe 20 of the slugs. You can get a lot more of these to him if there's not other players taking them from you and the final achievement is one that we can do during the event or not during the event to find three of these tablets around so first thing is to work out when the event is on so if you go onto wowhead you can check when the event is going to be up if it's up or up soon you can head over to here in the waking shores head over wait for the event to start and then when the frog starts moving that's when you can start picking up the slugs and start throwing them to him. Once you've done 20 of these, it can be in as many events as you want, you'll get that achievement. Um, the second achievement is, of course, just to complete the event. So you can just go all the way to the event until you kill the final boss here. You will get that other achievement. The reason we didn't do the tablets during that time is because you can do them outside of the event as well. So there's these three tablets to pick up, or not pick up, just interact with. The first one is just outside of that main building around the back. You can interact with that one there. Then if you fly back over to one of the tents over here, it's inside the back there. And then the final one is just across to the other tent um, across the way. Cool. And after you've gotten all three of those and you completed the event and you fed him the 20 slugs, that should be you with that final achievement of Flight Club and picking up your mount and one step closer to Taiwan and that final meta achievement. If you guys found this helpful or if you 
didn't find something helpful and I missed something out, please comment below and let me know and I'll try and help you out as well. Subscribe for more. I have got more on the way. Um, I don't know when they'll come out, but I've got more on the way for sure. And yeah, thanks for everything. Cheers, guys.